Wait, what? I'm I'm tiny. Why am I Joel? Inchling, <gasps> a subspecies of humans. Bite size, nimble, small appetite. I can climb and I can ride on other players. This is gonna take some getting used to seeing Minecraft from this layer here. Hey folks, Whip here and welcome on back to Afterlife SMP. We're on our brand new life here as an inchling, I guess, and it's time to go back up to our base at the top of the mountain with pillagers and see if we can't get our stuff back be sure to leave a like if you're excited and please subscribe as we're really close to a million subscribers so i do appreciate it look at me just going right up the side of the mountain oh this is great this is fantastic i can't fly quite yet and i also only have five hearts i'm now realizing so we need to be extremely careful can't die to fall damage so that's fantastic but pillagers with crossbows can definitely oh, no fall damage is gonna take some getting used to but i can definitely die to pillagers with crossbows so we need to be very careful sneaking through here oh i don't think you can see me i don't think you can see me oh, run away in the house in the house go 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 thankfully i left my tools back here uh that shield can stay behind and my armor so we at least have protection armor so that's fantastic what happened to my pickaxe i've lost my pickaxe and i've lost my bow that is not good not good at all we've got our backpack though that's amazing okay oh we have some oh yes 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 we can use that perfect it is very weird seeing the base from this low level and it's gonna take some major getting used to oh but here we are we live down here now how many levels do i need two. Oh yes perfect thank I'm at least feeling a little bit more geared up. The five hearts is terrifying, but you know, we've got full enchanted diamond armor, so I don't think these guys can really do much to me. They can even really see me. I'm too short. They can't even see me down here. <laughs> That's pretty nice. I will say trying to live in a pillager outpost as an inchling doesn't seem like the best of ideas. I think it's about time that we embrace our Smurf origins and create a lovely little mushroom village. But first, I wanna see if we can get all of our blocks and move out of this base. Now, there are a load of items in here that I really wanna take with me, and I don't wanna to have to spend time coming back. We've got some light gray wool in here, and if we make more of the backpacks where we need some iron, wool, and a chest, I can make three more backpacks, and I believe these all have a separate inventory amazing okay so we can just start loading up on as much of the stuff as we can take with us here i am about to bring y'all back in and say all right i've got everything ready in my backpacks all five backpacks full of a bunch of stuff and that one's open no i opened the chest see full backpack and then i look over here just to double check ah, i forgot that one the very important one now for the annoying part about backpacks is i need to look through these and i have no way of sorting them where did i put my wool i think we can use that all right one more backpack let's just keep embracing the chaos over here right there goes everything very importantly bringing the raw beef with me the one raw beef okay as the sun is setting we sneak out of the pillager outpost nothing but my six backpacks full of a million items and it's time to leave as we're leaving the mountain that i called home for so very long it's really important that we set the vibe right away of what our new village is going to be to attract any other tiny people of the server to hang out with us here i want to be very very careful about creating a magical mystical environment and the thing that is very magical to me right now is these giant flowers look at them they're beautiful look at these magical double tall flowers oh my god they're massive look at them i can't even jump halfway up the flower oh we definitely need these in our new village oh dark oak sapling look at it look at it oh it's a little tree oh we need that it's a me-sized tree. I feel like I'm traveling through a jungle. I just, I can't see anything. Look at this. We just, I, oh, oh, open land, open land. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this forest, those giant trees. Berries, berries don't hurt me. That is huge. Okay, we're taking as many berries as we can get. For a barrier? <laughs> All right, even I feel a little bad about that joke. That one was, ugh, that's a ooh, little much. I'm hearing spooky spider sounds and no, oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, okay. I haven't fought anything that is this massive and I'm quite there. Oh, it's coming very, it's coming. Look how big this spider, oh my God, this spider's terrifying. Yeah. Ah, yes, okay. I might be tiny, but I am strong. And look at all these mushrooms. Oh, we have to take these. We have to have these for the Smurf village. Look at this giant over here. Oh God, they can see me. Oh God, no, I, I, I missed my invisibility now. I'm tiny and I can't go invisible. We've got plenty of brown mushrooms, but I want to find some red ones too. And I think I got to get into the nether at some point for some of those really cool ones. And also the end is beautiful mushrooms. Oh, we got to make a trip out there. Flowers, 
flowers. We must collect the flowers. Seeing some beautiful flowers at the top of this mountain and we just keep on climbing. I think this is it, my friends. I think this is it. I think this is where we colonize Smurf Village. Smurf land. We have the beautiful forest on one side. We have dangerous deadly cliffs on the other. A giant cave underneath. We need to trap any tall people. And nice boulders. It's perfect. I need to get settled down. The sun is going down. Night is coming back again. And I think we start out right here with a little tiny baby house. This is going to take some getting used to building uh, at this scale. <laughs> It's so weird being this low down to the ground. Making this into a bunch of like round circles of sorts, I think will be the best way to go. And we'll figure it out as we're getting there. Yeah, I think that we could have a little door right over here. It'll be perfect. We can have a giant beacon of light here in the center. And if we use some of the palisades and the little mushroom walls on the outside, we've got a crafting floor over here. And if I can find my doors, we now have a front door. I prefer the garage style entrance. Now for the actual border of the house itself, I'd like to use a bunch of spruce as a little trim. And of course, now, after all this time, after all this time, guess who finally shows up? I don't like you anymore. Also, I just found this out. Look at how tiny the items are if I drop them on the floor. <laughs> I love it. Now for the house itself, as we're going with a Smurf village, I wanna have a lot of bright colors in the roofs and things. So we're gonna start off with some warped wood cause that's what I have on hand. And we can use some of the lattices like this as a small window. And then back over at the crafting floor, which I can't reach from up there at all. I can use some of the other warp stem that I have and create some slabs and stairs, which we can use to give the roof a little bit more character. And I want to give myself a second floor inside of the home. So we got first floor down there. Then we'll have a way to get up and we'll have a second one. And there we have it. My tiny chaotic little mushroom home. I just got to get moved in now. We got so much space on the inside. Look at it. I'll have a little bedroom or entryway right in here. Maybe I'll have a spacious kitchen back in that corner. I remember I have these beautiful, beautiful spruce supports that we can use. So look at this. Oh, my room is so much more spacious now. I think I'll put a way to get up to the second floor right here. So we got a nice little staircase. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Now I'm all the way up here. Oh, this is massive. I'll put my insane storage room right over there. That's perfect. California King can go right in here. And my super smelter. Welcome to Flip Cribs. Today we're looking at Papa Smurf house over here it is a luxurious four-story mansion right here in the start of smurf village you can see they have a beautiful garden out front fully equipped with sweet berries you can eat as much as you need coming in the front door we have a spacious spacious ground floor level with full access through all four stories of the building we've got the beautiful california king sleeper right over here for anybody who needs it the super smelter and then we've got the start of the crafting room, a little bit of a storage room, and they're even built into the walls for the massive Omega storage room. Coming up to the next floor, you can see the storage room grows even further, winding its way a, an absolutely massive chandelier, the size of a Smurf, if not even larger, decorating this entire house. And coming up here, we got the third floor, fully equipped, can everything ready to go with a beautiful spore blossom right at the top to get the magical particles. Now that we've moved in, we've got everything sorted. I've even started moving up here to the top side and I realized I have the other side music disc. I crafted up a jukebox for myself and it's time for our first house party in the mansion. I think if we install the music at the top and just let it ride. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there we go. We're bumping, this is it. Now I just need to have some friends to hang out in the village with me and the drop. Next up, if I want to create a big, amazing village, I need to be able to feed the people. So it's time that we get a few little crops of farmland down, plots of farmland, I should say. And for that, I have got some carrots. We got a bunch of wheat seeds and we've got some pumpkins, even some melons that we can plant. We'll have the largest melon field in all of Minecraft and no potatoes, unfortunately. It's finally time to do it. It's time to pull out the diamond hoe and get to work.
These massive carrots take a little while to grow, so uh, I'll expand throughout the rest of the field when I can get there. But, you know, I think they're going to take a few seasons to get to this humongous size. I mean, look, they're already the size of me. I can hide in the carrot field. Up to the top of the house, though, you can see we've got ourselves a wheat field right over there. We got carrots there. We got melons up there, and we got pumpkins back there. My, oh my, I have made the long journey, and my legs are getting tired. I've walked at least a few marathons trying to get back over here. Right outside of the raccoon's bathhouse. And there it is, the pillager outpost. We need to sneak in there one more time and see if we can't steal a few things. Right under their noses, through the defensive berry bushes. And I think I could just go over the wall. Yep, we're in, we're in, we're in. Let's go. Did I leave anything in here? Ooh, of course I'm bringing that with me. I wanted to take these. These are very hard to acquire and apparently very hard to break. I don't know how I'm going to use this massive of a workstation, but I think we can figure it out. And then I definitely need this guy. And there should be one more up in the towers. Yes, there it is. Now the final items to steal, I got to sneak in right past the pillager tower and in here. Perfect. The enchanter and sausage has left more raw chicken. So we're just going to take it. I'd like to bring these bookshelves with me here too, but I don't have silk touch. So at least I think we'll get all the books back. Okay, that's about everything I can carry on me here so uh let's get out of here and go back to our new home i snuck back in real quick because i realized something these things have been melting goods like crazy so they should be a crazy experience bank oh yeah look at that oh i love that oh yes Wee come to think of it i've got a better idea mythical sausage can fly Maybe I can employ him as an Uber to give me a lift home. Finally made it up the mountain. Let's go see if Sausage is home and see if we can't say hello to him. Coming, coming, one moment. Hello? Hello? Hi, hi, hello, hey, hey. hello? Are you, are you hello, invisible down again? Here. Ah, come on, hello? check the other door. Are you at the other door? Hello, hello, hello? Hello? Okay, stop being invisible again. I thought you died. Did you get the same origin again? Hello? <laughs> hello? No, down here. Hello? Front door. Front door. Hello? What? Down here. Down here. Hello? Hey! <laughs> get out of here with your stupid mess. Why are you so little? Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. I, need, I, need, I need help. I need help. <laughs> what do you need? A stepping sword to get up to my level? Let me get you a chair. Hold on a second. I'll, get I'll, you just, a I'll just stand on the table. I'll just stand on the table. Hi. Wait, I a need little taller, please. Can you get on top of the flower pot, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, hi. Yeah. Okay. I am Groot. The flower pot? I am. I am Groot. I am Groot. Hi, I am Groot. I, I am Groot. Groot. Are you I'm Groot. I'm. I'm. Are you I'm Groot. Why are you blue? Why are you blue? You're choking. I'm Papa Flip. I'm a Smurf. <laughs> Papa. Oh, I can call you Daddy now. Daddy no, no, Flip. Papa. Specifically, oh. Papa. <laughs> can I call you Papa? Sure, Papa Flip. Okay. But that's fine. Papa that's fine. Flip. Hi, Papa um, Flip. You so so I need. Oh, God. Yeah, I need. I need help. I need help. I'm just. I'm. Hi, I'm on your head. I need a taxi ride home. Get off my head! Get off my head! Get off my head. <laughs> okay, yeah, come with me. How does this work, anyways? Um, um, well, I think if I just get on your shoulder like me. this, and we just fly north. Have you paid a test of this? Will you fall off and die? I don't take fall damage, so you know. Hopefully oh. it's okay. Hopefully it's okay. This is gonna be great. Okay, let's let's test this out. Oh my god, this is amazing! I can't believe this. I've always wanted to fly people around. This is great. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's working. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> oh, I'm going. We're going. Just keep going. Wait, let's see if we can do some death defying stunts. Let's go. Oh, Ooh. I got kicked off. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. I can't swim. Oh, so Help. Where this are is you? a huge ocean. I can't cross this ocean. Help me. Where I'm stuck in the ocean. Help. Oh, I'm so I sorry. can't get out of the I'm ocean. Sorry. Help. Yeah, get on me. Get on me. Get on me. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Yep. That that was that was just a test. I wanted to see if you survived that one. Okay, let's go. We're looking for a beautiful oh. meadow. Oh, to the right. Oh. To the right. Turn oh, right. Four story Turn right. mansion. Over the top of this hill. No, no. Okay. Right. Yep, there we go. In here? No, no, no. Up, 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 up. Inside the cave. Inside oh, God. The cave. Oh, God. What are we doing? I don't like it down there. Yeah. It's like a fight. It's like, it's like we're doing a ride in Disney World. Can you not see my mansion? It's right over the hill in front of us. No? Yeah, it's right. Ooh. Look, it's right over here in front of us. Do you not see it? Look at my mansion. Where? It's right there. Oh, so you let's keep it this way? No, no. It's right here. All right. Uh, airdropping. Pop off whip. Airdropping oh now. Oh, my God. Wait. Let's get Hi, hi, hi. Thank you for the lift. Thank you for the lift. I'm back at my oh mansion my now. Amy for the airdrop. This for is going to be the airdrop. service I'm going to be providing now. 
Okay, yeah, no, people. I would like to sign up for this. Um, I seem yes. to have mislocated my wallet. It was somewhere. Oh, yeah, I've small, lost it in my mega storage room. <laughs> I mm, give me a give me a. Oh, you know, I found it. I found it. I found it. Yeah, How much was it again? How much was it again? Two, two diamonds. Two diamonds. Two diamonds. I got I got one very shiny small diamond. You know what? That looks like a collector's item. I'm gonna take that little diamond. Oh man, this is this is almost as weird as when, uh, when when I saw Jimmy and he's a furry now. This is great. What a great day. <laughs> Thankfully, we had the lift from Sausage to get back home, and I'm realizing that uh, if they're up there, I can't really reach the top of the table. I guess I can climb all the way up here and use it, but I should probably bury these somehow. And I'm thinking we add a little secret entrance right here into a basement. So putting the Omega torch right over there, and then if we break down like this, I should be able to put the glass blower. Ha <laughs> ha, now we can use the workstation. Now we can use the botany station, masonry table, and it even goes down a little bit. Oh, it's it's tiny person accessible. Sorry, very, very big person accessible. I'm massive. And the carpenter's table. Now for our grand staircase to get down into the little cave. Perfect. And then we just do that for our door. Nice. It's so roomy down here. I can even fill in the rest of the ceiling and it's great. I'll get the sides sorted out and I wanna get our enchanter set up here soon, but I realized something. The villager herself is online and I wanna see if we can't make some trades potentially for some silk touch, cause then I can start getting large mushroom blocks. Which way is gem space? I, I don't, I don't remember. I think it's this way. I think our base is back that way. So I think we go this way. Back here again on a beautiful day. Oh, look at the village. Ha, huh. I think they're gonna love me this time. Please do not enter the village. No, no, it's fine. I can't read. Villager gem is dangerous. Do not enter. See, iron golems are friendly. Look, I can just walk in between their legs. Oh, it's great. Please stay out. You will die. Do not enter. No, no, it's it's fine. It's fine. Hey, Jim. Will die. Jim, Jim, hi, 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 Jim, Jim, hi, down here, hi, hi, Whip. yes, hello, here, hi, Where? hi, here, I'll come up to you, I'll come up to you, don't worry, I'll climb my way up, it's okay, I'll just, yep, hi, Flip, hi, how you doing, here, let me just get up eye level, eye level, hi, there we go, hi, hey. how's it going, it's great to see You're you, so tiny, I, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, all the evil pillager juices got thrown out now, and uh, I'm good, and apparently I shrunk, I shrunk. Oh. But, but yeah. I don't know if you <laughs> noticed, but uh, we're not accepting guests right now at, at the village. It's too dangerous here, so you should leave. Mm, Definitely. I, th I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It's the Iron Golems welcomed me this time. They said, hey, how I you doing? Nice to see you today. I think it's great. It's dangerous for a little guy like okay, you. Come okay, on. Okay, okay, okay. But, but, but real quickly here, I'm trying to make a mystical mushroom village, and I need mushroom blocks, and I need silk touch, and you're the villager, you and I've... So I, I really need silk touch, please. Silk? Oh, hey. Well, I'm building a library. It's not done yet, but I can make an exception Whee! for you. I do have silk touch books. How many do you need? I need three, please. This guy's really three. tall. He's very tall. The, the books might be bigger than your head, to be honest. Um, I'm really I'm really good at reading. It's fine. I, big words. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, thank you. See, okay. look. Now they're tiny. It's a magic power. Look at them. Look at the just tiny books. And well, I have this is a trade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I have, I, I have I have a tiny clock. Oh, I do like tiny clock. Tiny clock. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 And a little pot. A little flower pot for you. Aw. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. cute. It's actually a traveling nice. home for me. I can just kinda sleep inside of these. So it works as a tent as well. You're emerald sized. It's because I'm bright like a diamond. <laughs> I shine bright all day long, all day long. This is awkward because my house is this way. We are finally back home and I acquired some more gigantic flowers and we've got this guy right over here. I set up the anvil. Fortunately, my ax already has fortune on it and I really want silk touch on an ax. So we're gonna be crafting up a brand new one right over here. And I think before I throw silk touch on it, I wanna try enchanting it. And for that, nope, out the door. I wanna move down into the basement and maybe move these guys around. Because if I come right over here, we could even move down to a lower floor right down in here. I want to see if I can get... Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, one floor down. Here we go. I want to see if we can get a full level 30 enchanting setup without needing to go two stories on the enchanting 
bookshelves. Recrafting up the bookshelves, and then if I find the enchanting table somewhere in... There we go. I need a better storage system. This is a little too much. And I believe this is a test. So this right here is level four, and that still upgrades it. No, that's still level four. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you don't go back there then. With the full surround, we're up to 22. Do these really not work? I thought you could do the corners. You can do the corners. Oh, amazing. Now we're up to level 30. Oh, yes, perfect. We've got the enchanting set up. Except apparently I have to have all of these as air blocks too for it to get level 30 because if I do that, but if I do this right here, they drop down. Okay, so it has to be two floors. I don't want to leave just random torches all over the place inside of my basement. So I think I might be able to, nope, that's going to cut into the floor below. All right, we'll just push it back another block. But I left all my wood upstairs. One second. We can throw the mechanics workshop right back in here. It looks a little weird, but I think that'll do. Kind of missing this little top place over here, but I think I can put spruce supports in there and then maybe they'll just do that. Yeah, that works perfect. And then inside of here, the whole reason for it is I want a lantern. I think this might work. It's just like a central fireplace. <laughs> I like it. Now we're down to see what enchantments we can get on this axe. And uh, if we get silk touch, I might cry a little, but that's okay. First off, I'm going to hide a barrel right down there for some good little uh, lapis storage. And then inside of here, efficiency four. It's of course, of course, but <laughs> of course. Okay, of course. Okay, yep, we got that. That's that's nice. All right. Now, for the final addition today, what I would really like to do is create a room where we can grow some mushrooms. Because mushrooms are going to be extremely important to the village. And I think the best way to do this so that it stays safe, because we need a very dark location, is just to dig back here with a one tall area and make two rooms. One for brown mushrooms and one for red mushrooms. Oh, it looks like I'm about to break into my house. So maybe we stop digging the cave out here. Right now, I only have brown mushrooms, but Megan's online and I've actually been talking to her. I might swing by over there. Oh, she says, I got you. Perfect. We can go get some mushrooms. I'm going to plant a few of these guys down around here. So we have maybe four of them and they'll slowly grow into the middle. Look at this little baby mushroom. Oh, it's adorable. It could also be a table for me. I love it. And then we'll leave this side over here for the red mushrooms once I get those. Also decided I didn't want to run around every single time to get to the basement. So I installed these little double trap doors as a way to drop down here and I could just climb around right back up and close them down. While I wait for all of the mushrooms to start growing up here and we can get some building done, I think it's time to pay a visit to Megan and see if we can't stop by and uh, get a few red mushrooms from her. I've just made it to the water and realized that I have these boats and there's something very important I need to see. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even see over the top of the boat. I want <laughs> how, do I, how do I even row this boat? Oh, the rapids, they're massive, they're huge. Oh, I love this origin, it's so good. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Over here, hello? A, a tiny person in the really big boat. Whoa, oh my Hi. gosh. Hi, Wait, mushroom you're... lady. Oh, you're so tiny. Wait, Hi. I'll take my shield out. Oh, you're I'm so I'm little. Mushroom sized, and that's, that's I need I need your help. I need, I need these, the, specifically oh. these. Oh, those guys. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how many are you looking for? Uh, as many as you can get. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, as you know, I'm blue. Very, uh -huh. very blue. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to build a Smurf village. And so I need lots of mushrooms to be able to make roofs and things. So I, I figured oh. you were, you were the person to come to for many a mushroom. I am a fun guy. I am a fun mm -hmm. gal. Mm -hmm. I definitely, I definitely have it. I have, I think I have, there's what I have on hand. I was just redecorating. You see how tiny these little guys are from the yeah, botanist I bench? love them. They're like That's me like, size. They're like I know. Here, I, I knew you were coming, so I made you I made you two <gasps> little baby ones. Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> you want to see something really cool? Want to see? Look, look at if I throw them on the ground. Oh my gosh, they're even tinier. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that so much. Thank you, uh, thank you. This is amazing. Me... Here, here. You can you can have these as thank you for the mushroom. I swear they'll be bigger once you pick them up. And then uh, I got rid of oh. all the other stuff. I had. Yeah. But oh if you yeah, have yeah. Any shiny purple blocks to build out of. I don't know if they, oh. they work for the mushroom vibe, but there you go. Thank you so very much. Finally back home, and we can use a bunch of these red mushrooms to start growing inside of our cavern over here. 
this very big massive mushroom cave and the brown mushrooms are growing too we'll just leave those to go for a little while and now that we got these cute little decorative guys too we can just throw them over there maybe another one can uh no no they can't go anywhere maybe right there look at it oh i got a mushroom in my house so if i place these guys down and then i just bone meal that we get the podzol and then using the silk touch on the axe we can bring a few of these home with us taking the podzol that we just got as well as our red mushrooms we can now place the red mushrooms anywhere and then if i bone meal that we get giant mushroom from here we climb up to the top and just chop them all down ah yes perfect the red mushroom blocks we can build homes and houses for our people now we can finally set up the second home inside of here which i think is just going to be sitting right over here and we'll just do a tiny guy There we have it, my friends. The Mushroom Village Mega Base Project has really started over here, and I am in love. We got the second mega build ready to go, and I've got my mega base itself over here with this gigantic mansion. Thank you all so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like down below if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're brand new as we're flying towards a million subscribers. So thank you all so very much for that. But with that, my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.